Just imagine for a second living for an entire month underwater. That's what Fabien Cousteau, the oldest grandson of Jacques Cousteau, did in this record-breaking experiment off the coast of Key Largo, Florida. He lived underwater in this marine lab about the size of a school bus. Pretty deck underwater school bus. Hot water, <laughs> air conditioning, and internet access. Still, you're underwater. I mean, you know, however nice it is, you're still underwater. Joining us to talk about this experience, the man himself. Oh, good effects Up for air, like good, that. clean, outdoor air. He didn't grow any gills, I said. <laughs> Great it's good to see you both. Uh, yeah, you know, it's almost like living in New York City, except that your neighbors <laughs> are fish. <laughs> I suppose there wasn't a lot of fish on the menu. I, all jokes aside, this was a big deal. You wanted, to, you wanted to bring awareness to conservation. Do you feel like you were able to succeed in doing I, that? I think, uh, you know, we had goals of reaching 331 million people. And as of the metrics of June 15th, at least as far as press is concerned, we've reached over 500 million people. Oh, my Instead goodness. Instead of the 331 we were looking for. Impressive. So, uh, on that level, it was a success. And hopefully on the science it will be. We did uh, three years of science and data collection in just 31 days which is pretty amazing. amazing. What surprised you uh, about being underwater for that long? What surprised me is how I, uh, I and my team were able to adapt and be able to live down there comfortably in a very tight environment, as you can imagine, uh, because most of the time we spent out uh, in the water column to mm. uh, go explore. And more importantly than that, I think I felt almost secluded and kind of became our own little community down there and we didn't really pay attention to what was going on topside. Besides the nice. cramped space, any challenges? I understand that one at one point the air conditioning <laughs> decided not to well, work. Well, yeah, joking aside, the air conditioner when it goes to on the fritz, which it did, it gets to be 100% humidity, oh. 98 degrees in a very small little Oof. tube, if you will. And so it was actually cooler to go jump in the water in the ocean than it was to sit in that particular place. Now, how important was this for you personally? You know, your, your, your grandfather set up a lab himself. What did it mean for you? It was a really, really complex endeavor. It took two years to do. Uh, a lot of folks didn't think it could happen. Uh, and besides all that, it did, and it was a huge success. Uh, to mm -hmm. me, the success not only of making it happen, but being able to connect the world in real time for the first time in a Cousteau expedition was phenomenal. And then, of course, now there's beyond Mission 31, such as the uh, Florida uh, Ocean Learning Center Love that, that we're going to be building that to continue in that particular Well, I know mindset. one of the things that you wanted to do was talk to school children, and I know yes. any of the kids that got to Skype with you, yes. I'm sure that was the highlight of their school it year. It was the highlight of my I'm sure, time down there. I'm sure it was, they're too. Just, their energy was right. so amazing. It's infectious. It yeah. reminds you of what the importance of what you're doing, the next generation, right? Get them fired up about conservation as well, and also let them understand the world below them oftentimes. That's right. Maybe some of them will be aquanauts in the future. Maybe aquanauts. aquanauts. <laughs>